What is up my dudes, my name is Olaf, I am your Icelandic, the Icelandic, maybe just a Icelandic vlogger, I am not the only one, I guess. Welcome to my video, welcome to the vlog, the first vlog on this channel and the first vlog with the EOS R6 and currently the 16mm lens, uh, brand new in my hands and I got a few other lenses. Uh, on my way to Reykjavik city, right before Christmas, it is the darkest day of the year, today 21st of December. It is the winter solstice and uh, I'm seeing how this bad boy here will hold up in the low light situation and the lenses of course and maybe explore my uh vlogging skills uh, just exploring my overall vlogging experience with this camera i have used phones before and a smaller one i upgraded from the sl2 rebel 200d here in europe this one is heavier bigger and i've done a few videos with it so far but no vlogging and uh, i gotta say i love it already but that is not a surprise because i kind of was in love with this camera before i bought it Anyways, this is the uh, brightest it's going to get. It is uh, around uh, 3.30, 38 here, northwest Iceland. It is a foggy area and uh, you can see the fog over there and over there. Yeah, this is uh, pretty much the brightest it's going to get because we can see a little bit of the sky. But if we can see anything of the sky, if there's a, a blizzard, it might get darker. Before we continue our journey to Reykjavik uh, city, I am going to take you guys across the road a little bit to show you something because this is an Icelandic vlog uh, I've done some Icelandic language a lot in the past but nobody watches that shit I mean we are like within half a million population but if you're here because you like Iceland and you like Icelandic stuff I'm going to show you guys a little bit uh, Icelandic uh, thing aka normal things aka daily <coughs> daily day 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 every day daily AKA everyday daily things, AKA boring things. No, I'm just kidding. Icelandic things are fun. And I'm gonna show you a thing that I like. <clears throat> so if you're here because you like Icelandic things and Icelandic stuff, I wanna show you a little bit something uh, very unique to Icelandic culture. So what we have here is a prime example of an elf stone. Let me put a little focus on it. There we go. This is an elf stone. That means they live here. This might be, I don't know, a town or a city, or maybe a villa. It is pretty big. I'm tall. Frosty moss. Beautiful. So remember, the elves are pretty cool. They are nice. They are kind. Unless you fuck with them. Then they can be a little bit, you know, <clears throat> not so nice. Ask anybody here in Iceland, do you believe in elves? And everybody will go, no. That is just superstition, that is just uh, myth, mythology and whatever. I mean, we appreciate our legacy, our culture and all of that, but elves, mm -mm, no, they do not exist. Okay, so it would be okay for me to tear up the stone, push it away and build a road through here instead of over there. Then everybody in Iceland would go, Wait, wait, hold on a second. Let's take a step back, you know, let's have a whole, look at the whole. Let's just have a deep, deep, let's uh, think about this. Let's say bye to the elves. Maybe later, we'll check them out later. They actually build roads around stones like that because apparently in the past there has been some weird, uh, I don't know, series of unfortunate events when they try to move those stones around. That's why you will see all around Iceland in the capital city area and in the countryside roads go like swirling around those stones because uh, i don't know a series of unfortunate events like uh, machinery breaking down people getting hurt into accidents or maybe i don't know die and things uh, get back to being okay when they put the the stone back in its place so is it a series of lots of coincidences i don't know so real or not, uh, it's like a just-in-case thing, I guess. Let's just not fuck with those stones, they leave them be, and appreciate living harmoniously in balance with nature, spirits, and each other on this planet Earth. But back to the vlog, let's head out to Reykjavik for the next few days. Mm. It is cold as a joke out here, I'm not kidding. Let's indulge in a big fat gulp of coffee and uh, carry on our journey to Reykjavik. Yeah.
right, all right, my dudes. Let me get some settings going here. Boom, boom. Here we go. There we go. Welcome to yet another uh, semi day. It's not that uh, bright outside, but that's the name of the game here in Iceland. Uh, my sleeping habits are so messed up these days, and uh, I'm I'm really excited, motivated, but. Uh, also at the same time I'm in this weird state of um, hibernation mode I guess all this uh, melatonin built up in the body that just makes me wanna close my eyes you know let's just later <coughs> next thing I know New Year's new times new uh, new opportunities new possibilities new everything yeah it's gonna be awesome so a little bit of uh, Christmas uh, shopping today and uh, driving around uh, meeting friends and uh, stuff and by the way you might have noticed that I am supplementing this vlog with some iPhone footage although this is a vlogging video about or with the EOS R6. I mean, I like to mix it up a little bit. I mean, this is just, I'm having fun. I'm just trying out stuff, new gear, also new phone. So I'm trying that out as well, but I might do a specific video about that, blocking with the iPhone 13. So we'll maybe check that out later. And uh, yeah, I might maybe mark the clips uh, below. This is not a incredibly technical specs video or like tests or anything like this. This is just me running around in Reykjavik city the city i grew up in winter solstice full moon in the skies uh, behind the the clouds wonderful time to be alive christmas or no christmas let's start with a fine ass sip of wake me up juice so my god yeah my god that was not icelandic by the way so let's just uh, head out get going and uh, see what the day brings booyakasha Omicron is upon us and it's uh, messing everything up but we stay safe we ain't gonna let some bugs biting our butts no no bugs biting but gotta stay safe beautiful Christmas uh, stuff in the air in the mall shopping success. So, not done yet, just taking a break and uh, we'll continue with the uh, Christmas uh, thingies afterwards. I just noticed I have on it uh, headwear and uh, hoodie. At the same time, by coincidence, uh, by no means I am uh, promoting anything, not yet. I just went a little crazy on Black Friday. Not just, but mostly camera equipment. And to pimp up this sweetheart of mine, yes, <laughs> have a look. Yes! <laughs> so, <clears throat> how do you do? I just uh, realized we need to sound good. Let me plug it in here. So yes, this is not like an all-in uh, everything vlog, you know, testing trials, tribulations. Here we go. Here we got some sound. Got a little bunny tail. Yes. You know, I'm just uh, playing around with a camera and testing out the the uh, 16 millimeter RF uh, lens because I've been waiting for it. So I want to like you know get to a little vlogging. This has been absolutely pleasure. It's just so much more quality. You know, both the lens and the camera. You know, I upgraded. Uh, I upgraded well. Just like everything else in life, we gotta upgrade, or get better and better. Low lights. Let me see. Focusing on, in on the eye. Now I've been messing around with the white balance and ISO and currently I'm just putting it on auto. So I've been crushing uh, D3 vitamins every day now and for a while actually, way before COVID, way before all the D3 vitamin talk about the immune system regarding COVID and um, maybe possibly helping, helping with uh, immunity. But uh, if you plan on visiting or staying for an extended time, especially when in places like here, close to the Arctic Circle, like or Iceland, better get your D3 vitamin on. R2, D3. Anyways, uh, enough of this shenanigans. 
Oh shit. I just dropped the lens cap underneath the seat and now I'm going to have to get it, which would not be a problem. There's a challenge because we saw evidence of a mouse in the car because I live in the countryside. They might be able to break into the car. From the grocery store, we could see somebody was quick in and out making a hole in the back and stuff like that. What I'm getting at is there is an actual mouse trap underneath the seat here, like in the cartoons. And if I'm going to be, it might be risky. Should I record it? Nowhere close the mouse trap, so no fun. No fail videos for YouTube this time. Still sipping on that same coffee because uh, I indulge in quality, not quantity. Although I like quantity, depending on what it is. It's tracking the eyes. I can see. Yes, 2.8 aperture, you can see the blurry background. Beautiful, beautiful, I like the colors. I'm shooting in lock, of course, because I, I am a bit of a color perv. I like to play with it, mess around with the colors. So in the midst of all this Christmas chaos, I'm going to pay my friend a little visit and of course, pet his pussycat. Mm -hmm. So I've been vlogging with the 200D SL2 Rebel. This is such a jump. This is the future. Erthadeki Friedrich. This is the future. This is my buddy Friedrich. He has a pussy cat that I like to pet. She is uh, my BFF. GD BFF. Goddamn best friends. Best furry friends. I'm vlogging in English now. Would you like to say something in English for the world? Good morning or late day, I would say. Happy Christmas and a joyful and you, new year. And you have an American-ish t-shirt. My t-shirt is a black rifle t-shirt uh, with a rifle in the American flag colors. And uh, then I'm wearing uh, those uh, NASA oh, oh, trousers. Oh, oh. For Double the American flag. America flag. America. Yes. Who who was the influencer behind all that black American rifle American coffee, coffee drinking of your? Mm. At least, at least that. You are you doxing yourself? Doxing is. Give it. Five minutes until five. Already dark. Beautiful colors. I'm loving this so much. I am so in love. Full of love. So this is Frederick's introduction in my vlog. Double the American flag. It might not be the most correct representation of uh, Frederick, because I want to show you a little bit more him. So this is like typical Frederick. He has this up on his wall, like red, kind of communish ish I don't know. I'm not that much into politics. I'm into people. And politics pretend to be into people, but they're not. And uh, of course, at last but not least, the one and only BFF best furry friend forever. Asena, the Greek goddess. Yeah. Du bist eine lille Katze, ja. She likes the bunny tail. Mm. And she likes it. She likes she petting. Yes. Mm. Better include some animals in my vlog because. Uh, <laughs> Cats, squirrels, foxes, dogs, parrots. They're always a golden bet on YouTube. You wanna go viral? You want to go viral? Du bist eine lille Katze, ja. I love the quality of this lens and the camera, the sensor, the low light capabilities. I mean, this is a black cat and all I could see was just maybe her eyes when she was looking directly into the camera on my older model. Now I can see her fur, I can see her face. And I always speak in weird accents when I encounter something little cute creature like you are. Oh. Okay, I need to take my shoes off. Uh, 
It's like you have a, a machine inside you that goes. Mm. <laughs> Mm. Maybe I'll just uh, focus my vlog exclusively on animals. They are so much fun. So cute. And they remind us of where we all come from. Planet Earth and nature. We're living according to instincts. Well, she's not an outdoor cat, which means she's living in contradiction to her own uh, instincts. But aren't we as human species as well? Look at that. Nose, mouth, whiskers and eyes and ears. You kind of have like everything a human has in his face except the whiskers. I have moustache instead. So you're a sweet little girl with moustache. Yes. Mm. And you like the camera when I can see myself in your eyes. All right, this is my vlog. I am the star of the show. You are going to, you're going to, Take my vlog show away from me. You're going to be the reason why I go viral and people are only going to be asking about you. And then I need to kidnap her. Catnap her. And give her some cat nips. In the countryside, bring her there. I don't need to wash my hands. We'll have a little bit more of Athena later on. I just need to get myself through the door. Have a bit of a coffee and... Uh, because it's a Christmas opening hour, so we're open until late tonight. Woo! And uh, yeah, by the way, the uh, the Altcos, the volcano, was visible like right over there, but not at the moment. It's not active. Oh shoot! Look, crazy Christmas lights. So uh, the daytime here, in the midst of the Icelandic winter, is uh, one short uh, golden hour, one golden hour throughout, from maybe noon until afternoon. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. And uh, this camera is doing the colors quite the justice. I'm having like this assistant screen, so uh, it's not that flat. It will look like that on the editing table, but then I can tweak and twist, do a little bit like this. And make some nice looking colors. Still in, a, in the learning process. Let me swap out the lens and get some B-roll. I've added a little uh, mist diffusion filter. Got some nice uh, halation. Out of focus, struggling a little bit. Maybe it's the mask. But yeah, let's uh, check into Pringland Mall. This uh, Christmas vibe going on there as well. A little bit more shopping and uh, eating. And just resting and relaxing for the rest of the night. A lot more lights here in the city than back home in the countryside. Everything pitch dark, 45 minutes, minutes less of sunlight there. Excellent opportunity to test out my new stuff here. Everything has been taken care of. Let's go pet a cat, shall we? Poof. Oh, 
Eigum við að gera YouTube video saman? Eigum við að sigra hímin með viral kjúsiness? Yes, tótum og kafæni kóni. Say it is a ridiculous good winter weather, December weather, Christmas weather because we're not always blessed with a beautiful weather like this. It's cold as joke outside, and uh, but it's beautiful. It's like this uh, one perpetuous, consistent golden hour throughout this very short day, and uh, we're not always this blessed. A couple of years ago, we had the most craziest storm in Iceland in 30 years, and we do get storms. I mean, like we do have brutal storms but this was the craziest one in three decades and uh, I've never experienced anything like it I was living in the countryside where I am living right now in the old farmhouse and the electricity went off most people in town were okay because we have the geothermal water but I I don't have the geothermal at the farmhouse in the farmhouse yet so I went without electricity and lights and heat and everything and food for three days and three nights it was a uh, stark outside there was no no sunlight really coming through the skies and not through the windows because they were all covered in thick snow apocalyptic type of situation but we're kind of used to that when it's day after tomorrow type of stuff here in Iceland if it's alien invasion or zombie apocalypse that's a little bit different uh, ball game that would be kind of cool though which one would you pick zombie apocalypse or alien invasion I mean you, we would still have somewhat of a fighting chance so we wouldn't all get eaten or wiped out like an instant boom independence day whatever but i mean like a little bit of a, of a fighting chance which apocalypse would you fight So beautiful out today. It is 24th of December here in Iceland. Heading home for uh, Christmas. Here in Iceland we actually celebrate Christmas uh, the night before on Christmas Eve. That's when we celebrate it and uh, I'm running a little bit late but I am going home for Christmas leaving Reykjavik and uh, I feel quite tired. Uh, I've grown so used to the peaceful living in the countryside so much chaos in the city and especially in, in December by the way there has been lots of earthquakes been a lot of movement in the ground similar to the ones earlier this year before a volcano here in Iceland erupted so maybe we are having another one another eruption yes yeah, so it's gonna bring in some of that tourist money so yeah it would be cool to see Iceland is uh, quite the active volcano uh, actually it is a volcano island that's how it came into existence. But anyways, I've been having a lot of fun uh, vlogging with the EOS R6. Kind of loving it a lot, actually. Everything is closed already. People are uh, celebrating family time tonight and all of that good stuff. I've had absolute blast vlogging with the EOS R6. But I can tell you right now, it is definitely not my last experience vlogging with it. It's uh, so much fun. <laughs> Thank you.